Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham and you're Sipping with a Wine Fox. With me today is Domaine Alimont Laugner. It is a non-vintage Clément de Alsace. It is made by 11th generation winemaker Hubert Laugner. This is 100% hand harvested Pinot Noir. Hubert uh, and his family owns 26 acres of vines, and the vines are between 12 and 60 years old. Look at that bead. This is a very special wine for me with a lot of story. So, um, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous nose. It has a predictably beautiful wild strawberry nose. Wild strawberry and pastry. It is so beautiful. It is on the dry side. Um, so the base wine undergoes a 12 hour maceration, no malolactic fermentation, and the wine is aged on its lees for a minimum of 11 months prior to disgorgement. The most amazing thing is its price point. It is in the $20 range, give or take a few dollars and it is so well worth it. It really outdrinks its price point. Great quality. I am intimately familiar with this wine. I've been drinking it for about eight years now. Oh my gosh, beautiful wild strawberry. You don't want to drink it too cold. This is one that it is a very nice quality Clément. So you're going to want to drink it um, not too cold. Um, I just pulled this out of the fridge and it's been sitting out for about 15 minutes. It still may be a little bit cold, but I still get that gorgeous fresh wild strawberry. I get a subtle jasmine component, a hint of minerality. Um, a little bit of um, like a toast quality. <laughs> it's one of my favorite wines that that never fails to put me in my happy place. Um, so like I said, uh, it's an 11th generation family um, and it's from a town called Orschwiler. So this concludes my review uh, of the wine. It's fantastic, nice and fruity, crisp, refreshing, very easy to drink affordable and wonderful one of my favorites 100% Pinot Noir so like I said this concludes my my review of the wine and the rest is just bloggy uh, chatter because I have a very personal connection um, to this winery and the wine and the place um, so back in oh let's see it was 2010 um, my then um, CEO or president, actually president of the company I was working for, pulled my name for the Secret Santa uh, thing for Christmas. And the thing was you had to buy a wine, or not a wine, you had to buy a gift, any gift in the $20 range. Um, so that was your limit. Any gift, Secret Santa, 20 bucks. So um, in a very incredible, incredibly rare uh, gesture of thoughtfulness, um, he purchased this wine for me as my secret Santa because he knew that sparkling wine was my favorite category. Um, and so that's what put this wine on my radar was that uh, the president of the company had bought it for me for Secret Santa. And um, I'd been drinking it for about a year and a half and we had a trip planned. It was my father-in-law, husband, and I had a trip planned to Germany to drink wine uh, and beer along the Rhine in the Mosul. And this was one of the first wines that my father-in-law really liked in the sparkling wine category because when I first met him, I said, oh, I don't care for Riesling. He's like, oh, I don't care for sparkling wine. And boy, did we change each other's minds. Um, he showed me the fantastic sides of Riesling and I tempted him to explore sparkling wine with this bottle. This was the first one. So my father-in-law, who speaks uh, fluent German, said, hey, why don't we just go over there for a few days? So the three of us stayed in the town of Orschwiler um, for a few days, 
and we stayed right next door to Alamont Logner, which is across the street from Lucien Albrecht, which is another sparkling wine house. Um, and the town of Orschwiller is so wonderful. It is a, a very old town. It has some cobblestone streets and a nice square, a fantastic bakery. And so we stayed next door to the winery, which also had an amazing restaurant. And I had some of the best food of my entire life at that little tiny village restaurant. Um, every bite I had was phenomenal. Every piece of bread I had was uh, phenomenal and I also discovered something called Kugelhop which is a great recommended pairing for this. If you can make a savory Kugelhop with this you have the most amazing experience you can possibly have outside of Alsace. Uh, so look up recipes for savory Kugelhop. It's kind of like a, a fancy bunt shaped bread. Um, but anyway, this winery was founded in the Napoleonic era by three brothers who were returning from the Napoleonic War. They had survived. They were coming back from Russia. So it was a miracle that the three of them had survived. So they started this winery. And in walking through the town of Orschweiler, Orschweiler, pardon me, um, it was, uh, there was a cemetery in town and it had members of the um, Logner family in, in, in the cemetery and you could see the family history right there. You know, so many generations had, had uh, been buried there. And one thing that really struck me was on the cemetery gates there was a symbol of an hourglass with wings. Um, and that really made me think on the cemetery gates, and it's the concept of Tempus Fugit. And um, Tempus Fugit is time flies. And one day, you will be on the other side of the gates. So you had better enjoy life and really appreciate the time that you have and what are you doing with that time? And also, what are you drinking? So it made me really think uh, to really enjoy and savor every sip because Tempest Fugit, and again, that is Domaine Allemand Laugner, non vintage Clement Rose from Alsace. And to that, I say Prost and Carpe Uvum. <laughs>